Hi there, this is Heather Evers. I'm a local realtor here in Norman, Oklahoma. I'm brokered by Century 21. I wanna to talk to you today about some pros and cons of living in Norman. So first and foremost is cost of living here in Norman. Um, there are definitely cheaper places to live, but we have a very competitive cost of living. It's lower than the national average by far. You can definitely afford more house here. You can afford more in the way of activities. Um, shopping is cheaper, dining, it's all cheaper. So number two pro of living here in Norman is that our schools are really highly rated. You can check them out on greatschools.com. I think that they're really well funded. There's a lot of parent involvement. We have a lot of the same programs and opportunities that a lot of larger schools do. So definitely those are some major pros. Number three, Norman really has a small town feel with big town amenities. Our suburban areas have pretty much everything that you could need. Um, you don't have to leave for shopping, dining, business, it's all available. If you do want to step out of Norman, then you're a hop and a skip on the highway to downtown Oklahoma City, which obviously has more to offer. We have a lot of casual dining here in Norman, but we also have a little bit of higher end dining. We have lots of uncrowded parks, lakes, walking trails, nature areas. So get out and enjoy what Norman has to offer in the way of nature. And um, keep an eye out for our state bird, the scissor tail. You're likely to spot one if you keep an eye out. We have plenty of shopping opportunities, both in the way of small boutiques and larger shopping centers. So Target is my personal favorite. I really am convinced that they pipe something in <laughs> to the air in Target so that you forget that you came in for milk and that you have a limited amount of time. Next thing you know, you're drinking coffee from Starbucks and you're feeling all the throw blankets. So anyway, we have a Target. I always get asked, do we have a Target here in Norman? So number four for me as a pro here in Norman is fall. The leaves turn like a rusty golden color and fall from the trees, making those scenic nature walks even that much more fun. Uh, the air here gets really cool and brisk, and then it's time to start making chili and watching football, which brings us to the number five pro of living here in Norman. Cue that music, DJ. Oh. Here we go, it's time. All right, so now it's time for OU football. Pick up your game day schedule or shout at me for one. Make your snacks, get ready, buy your tickets if you're going in person and get ready to enjoy some serious football. Now it's time to talk about some cons for living in Norman, Oklahoma. So we already talked about our fabulous falls. Other than that, we have about five-ish days of spring that we get to enjoy, which are lovely. Um, but then summer and winter just kind of suck. Summer is really sticky and humid and really, really hot. It feels like it lasts forever and it brings all the insects straight from hell to your front door. You will want to spend a considerable amount of your time in a pool or near a pool. We do have a lot of lakes available for water skiing and tubing and other water sports if you're interested in that. Winter is more icy than snowy and most of the people here aren't familiar <laughs> with driving in serious road conditions like that. So it's just better to work from home if you can, kind of bundle up, stay by the fire. So now we're gonna talk about con number two, which is when the kids come back from visiting their parents while they're out of school and it's time for them to be back at campus. It gets really crazy. Just take my advice and don't go anywhere for <laughs> those first couple days when the kids like influx back in. They really overtake town and everything just slows down and it just feels really, really crowded. Um, somehow, after about a week's time, they totally assimilate with us and it's like it never happened. Everything smooths right back out. Traffic's fine, shopping's fine, but just give it a couple days. So number three is also about mm -hmm. traffic. Um, on game days, it's 
it's just crazy out there. Like you do not want to be stuck going to get your queso ingredients two hours before the game. Do your shopping the day before, and definitely if you're going to the game, you wanna get out there nice and early to get to your tailgating spot and be prepared to walk. Uh, the parking typically extends out into surrounding neighborhoods and shopping areas around campus. So wear your sneakers, be ready to cheer. That brings us back to housing again. We talked before about how cost of living is dramatically better here in Norman. However, housing prices per square foot are higher because we're a college town. It's just a draw. So this, the areas to our north, south, east, and west do tend to be a little bit cheaper if you're getting within Norman city limits. My last con for you for Norman is tornado season. Everyone always wants to ask about tornado season. It's that elephant in the room. So it lasts from about April to mid to late June. If you live here, you are going to encounter severe weather. It's just a given. You will probably need to take shelter at some point during the season each year, um, potentially multiple times. Storm shelters are really common here, but they are not automatically included. Um, you can have one installed starting at around $2,500, and that's something I can help to refer out for you. The price on those shelters goes up dramatically based on the size and its features. So watching the news here is a little alarming at first during tornado season. Our newscasters get very, very intense and excited. There are a lot of terms that you're not probably going to be familiar with being shouted at you. So if you're like me, turn it into a little bit of a drinking game maybe. And every time he shouts out mesocyclone, you take a drink. So there are some cons to living here in Norman, but there is plenty to love. If you're interested in moving to the area, give me a shout. I would love to help. First time home buyers, check out my video on how to buy a house. Don't forget to like this video, then hit subscribe and the notification bell so that you won't miss my next video. Subscribe. <laughs>